What's up dudes? Chad here at Baby Plums Fishing. A slightly different video here, something different for you. Um, normally I would have brought you some footage of some fishing, but um, I'd had an unsuccessful trip to Letch Lake Trout Fishery yesterday. Uh, caught nothing, me or my friend. It was a horrendous day, horrendous wind, horrendous rain. Everything was just uh, against me yesterday. So I thought, let's do something different. So I don't have any footage for you. This is something I've been meaning to do for a little while. Um, here you go, guys. A competition to win a box full of brand new Martin Williams stalking bugs and lures. Anyone who's looked at his website know these are quite expensive flies, about £2 each. This fly box contains 41 of them, and they're some of my favourite patterns. And uh, if you stay watching to the end of the video, I'll tell you how I'm going to uh, allow you to enter this competition. Right, let's get some of my favourites out of the box, guys, and tell you what's what and why I like them. Right, first off, you've got this long, incredible cat's here. It's very, very heavy. It's a size 6 hook with a big 4mm tungsten bead on, so it's a very, very heavy fly. But it's really, really good in the middle of winter. If you put it on an intermediate fly line or on a long leader um, with a floater line, and you just slowly figure of eight that back, that long tail. Um, the big rainbows absolutely love this fly, so I recommend it. The winter's coming up. I've no doubt that's going to catch you a rainbow or two. You do also have this one here, which is in... Oh, I can't get the bleeding thing out because it's barbed. Which is also in black and green. A great winter pattern um, for sort of murky water fisheries. That's also a great fly, just in different colours. There you go, guys. It's known as the Martin Williams Black Leech. Basically, that tail there is absolutely superb when that gets wet. I fished out on a long uh, leader on a floating line, about 12 foot leader. Slow figure of eight. I have caught so many fish on this particular pattern over the last uh, last year or so since he first brought it out. This is a cracking fly that you can win in this competition. If you're after freshly stocked fish, orange is a colour you cannot go wrong with for them sort of freshly stocked rainbows or a dirty water fishery when the water's a little bit milky coffee color when that's wet that tail really works well that's a really good fly i think on an intermediate fly line twitching it back if you're struggling and you want to go stocky bashing this is a great fly to use right guys over the last couple of years the zonkers and the natural rabbit fur snakes have really really taken off in popularity especially with the brown trout when they're uh, fry bashing in the winter months martin williams does his own version of this i've used these for a couple of years now they're called the natural weird lure it's got a tungsten bead on the front on a long floating line just figure of eighted back i've caught some really good browns on these over the last year really really effective just when that kind of gets wet it can't it just swims just like a natural fish a really really great pattern especially if you're going looking for those browns guys i've used these for a couple of years and they really are a fish catching tool martin williams version of the black and gold humongous i've seen some really really big fish caught in these they're great as a lure to strip back on an intermediate fly line you can twitch them back or fast retrieve they work really well i've actually seen there's a guy over rockbourne trout fishery um who gets a load of really really big fish using these by literally kind of just dangling in front of big fish and uh just twitching them up and down he, he gets loads of double figure trout using these they can be used as a stalking fly as well i've never used it that way myself i think on an in intermediate fly line this is a great pattern so uh i've included one in the prize box uh, for anyone here this winter okay so onto some of these stalking bugs in this uh, fly box i made up this is the black uh, stalking tungsten daddy uh, you see me catch quite a few fish on this already on my channel really really great pattern you just literally dangle it in front of a fish and just twitch it a little bit and i've had some really big fish snaffle this fly because it's black as well it shows up as a great silhouette in dirty water so i've included one of these and i think you're definitely going to catch some big fish using it i was having a conversation with my friend on the journey to uh, Letchlade yesterday and we both come to the agreement that the best all-around pattern for trout is the blue flash damsel for stalking for general twitching back if you don't know a fishery and you're going to fish there for the first time in my opinion the best fly you should ever put on to start with is a blue flash damsel so i've included a few different stalking bugs for the blue flash damsel in this little box i've made up here um, you've got a little red red head there which is the lightest of the bunch so you could even twitch that back on a long floating line if you wanted to 
you got a nice flexi leg damsel here that's uh, got some great moving in the water those legs really stand out I've also included this white head here with a uh, yellow marabou tail too. That's really great if you've got slightly murky water, you can see the white head. Um, these can be twitched back, cast at fish, sort of 10 meters away and twitched back nicely. Or you can literally line, wind all your fly line in and literally just dabble it in front of you, your fish kind of dabble it up an inch and down an inch and you will get big fish will inhale that the damsel is such an effective pattern very very effective very deadly and uh, i've included a load in this box for you first i'm going to show off here guys is the when all else fails um stalking bug it's so so effective when the fish have seen some big flies because it's tiny and you can just kind of really get those takes later on when the fish have seen a few flies dangled in front of them very very effective very heavy lead body there um gets down to where the fish need to be and it's not too big that it's going to spook them very very effective and uh, i've included a couple in the box and uh, i guarantee you it will catch your fish even in the middle of the day okay guys to enter this competition it's really simple everyone who leaves a comment will be entered i'd like to leave a comment suggesting what videos you would like to see me attack on my channel moving forward it could be i don't know anything like um how to catch fish on a dry fly how to fish buzzers, this uh, fish at this particular fishery. I don't know. I'm throwing it out there to you guys um, to see how to progress my channel, really. You know, because for me, this is all a bit of fun, but um, I am enjoying the interaction I have with you. So if there's a particular thing you want to see me do in some videos, let me know. And this is a great way to get people interactive, get people talking um, and a chance to win some absolutely awesome flies here. You're probably talking about £70 worth of flies here. They're about £2 each. So it's a really good prize worth winning. I'm obviously not a rich person, so I can't go and buy people sage rods or reels or things like that. But I can do little competitions every now and then that will give people a great start to catching some fish on some cracking flies so um there you have it guys as always it's a pleasure and uh, hopefully i can bring you guys some footage soon um my trip yesterday to lechley was a crash and burn so hit the comments and uh, i will pick a winner next week so um and send you the flies anyway guys this is chad take it easy see you later tight lines